Hop. See how much I'm gonna be able to tolerate today. It's not nearly as bad as... I mean, I wouldn't even say it's terribly bad as long as I'm finding progress, but... my back here all right well, I guess I gotta go here first no I already maxed it oh it doesn't matter I don't remember when the last time I have been in an Aldi. I forgot I have fall damage and I need to hold the space bar. That's a door. Texture looks pretty much the same as the wall.
Dog. Is that supposed to be a boss? Uh, every game has scorpions. I mean, there were already small ones, but I guess another big one. Why not? Ooh, the staff thing, scepter thingy. Pretty ass poop scepter is mine. About darn time. Well, now he actually tells me where to go. Fucking shitty ass Ramses. Yeah, I never really liked French fries either. <coughs> Flemish fries for the win. Even Twister fries are much better. Yep, they got the best ones. Strong resistance is bringing you. I barely ever go to McDonald's. But when I go, I make sure to never fucking order fries there. If I get them for free, I'd eat them, but I just don't order them. Oh, 
Let's go. I usually got from Burger King was uh, chili cheese nuggets. I remember taking that. I also really like their Oreo McFlurry or no, actually it does McDonald's. They had like a. They still had an Oreo McFlurry-like thing. I'm sure it was Burger King because I got it with chili cheese nuggets. Yeah, exactly. I, I just called it the wrong thing. Like, it was that, but it wasn't a McFlurry, but it was like a Oreo thingy. But it was like a McFlurry with Oreos. Not called a McFlurry. Yeah, absolutely. Do they still have that? Uh, that? That was... I mean, Oreos in general, I fucking love. Oish. There goes one health thing. Transmitter piece. Been forever since I got one. Oh, fucking damn it. Yeah, they're part of the lava monster. Meanwhile, I'll just ignore it because I can just run past it. open <laughs> fucking hitbox Thank <laughs> you. 
Gameplay. I'll just go through it. The good thing I have gigantic hitboxes, but the enemy's hitboxes are broken. No! How the fuck did I miss that jump? This level already. Fucking tedious grind. Thanks, game. What the fuck is the damage? I had one full health bar and one fucking shitty ass shit fireball from the wall kills me. Still don't know what the fuck this shit switch does. Fucking watch this shitty ass animation as well every time. And then I'm forced to take damage just like that. Look how much fucking damage I take. There's three of them now? Why was I being blocked by that wall? Oh, I thought there was only two last time. Well, this is a fucking tedious grind. How dare I fucking Christ this game Awful Awful Jesus Christ this is awful Three of those fucking... It's, it's mostly, you know, it's the Dark Souls 2 problem, where it's like... Individually, the issues aren't that bad, but lumped together, it becomes a tedious mess. <laughs> First and foremost, the gigantic player hitbox. Already makes it so fucking annoying that I lose health way too often. And then the whole fucking health and ammo drop system.
What the fuck do I do? I'm supposed to jump on the fucking shit block and I get killed half the time. The fuck you want me to do? Not jump on the block and grab the transmitter? Oh, how the fuck do I do that? There's no other way to do it than to jump on the fucking block and grab the transmitter piece. So they want me to grind down this piece of shit first because if I jump here I risk getting shot by it. Fun gameplay. Oh, there's two of them. Great! Meanwhile, I get shot anyway. Fucking shit jump! I still get hit by the fucker in the distance. Oh my god! Why the fuck did I not make it again? I'm pretty sure the platform was on uh, at the high point. I know they move up and down, but I'm pretty sure it was it was at top. Fucking trash level. And I also hate the sucking save system. Why the fuck is it such a fucking garbage save system with oh you can only save here? Meanwhile, the fucking places of the checkpoints are fucking stupid. Hey, look at this, I'm jumping over this fucker and I still get hit. Trash game. And again, I get fucking hit by these fucks. Look, it was end at the top! It was at the top, the platform, and I jumped and I didn't fucking make it. Am I stupid? I'm pretty sure it was at the top. Fucking stupid hitboxes. Every fucking projectile in the air hits me. Like, look at that! How does that hit me, man? This fucking hitbox! That's literally half the damage, if not more. That I keep taking is because of this gigantic fucking shithead box. Unbelievable. Yeah, here's ammo that drops in the lava. Good design game. Oh, 
fucking shit pacing. Yeah, and I get hit by the mandatory fucking shit fireball. Give me a fucking checkpoint. Wow, finally a checkpoint. Jesus Christ. Here's the fucking weapon! This is absolutely dog shit design here. You know what games usually do when they give you a new weapon? They give you a fucking area where you are able to use it. Like for example... Here's a grenade launcher. Here, go use it on this group of enemies. That's usually how it goes. Or, here's a chainsaw, now go fight this horde of demons. You know what this game does? Here's the fucking explosive fireball ring, go use it in this fucking tight corridor where you end up killing yourself with it because the fucking balls bounce back into you. Dog shit design. If you get a new weapon, the player wants to use it. best to then give an area where the player can use it. How oh, fucking dog shit. Look at this. That's fucking shit design. It's like, oh, you get a new weapon? Well, switch back, because it's useless in this area. the fucking sh shitty ass fucking garbage drops that ruin the pacing as well. You want to go play this fast paced shooter with movement? Because that's how it's designed, we walk fast. 
We have double jumps and stuff. We have this, all these mobility options. And the game is like, you know what? When you want, when you make kills, we don't want you to keep going. We want you to stop and wait for the stupid ammo and health drops to spawn. So fucking ass backwards in design. Ass backwards. Seriously, this game doesn't know if it wants to be a movement shooter or a fucking cover shooter or whatever. It's just fucking slow as fucking all shit. Dear lord. It was as slow as the turd I fucking took today. Sitting there for a half a minute for it to fucking crawl out of my ass. Jesus Christ. And it's so sad because the co enemies are cool, the weapons are cool, the, the <coughs> atmosphere is cool. <coughs> I want to enjoy this game, I just fucking can't. <coughs> and the, the thing is, the sad thing is, the remaster made it worse <coughs> with the fucked up hitbox. Oh, I forgot I have a new weapon, but I couldn't use it because... Well, it's fucking useless against bugs. Get the wing here. Well, that's great. Wait, the the wide player hit box was also in really? I thought it was a fuck up from the remaster as far as I could read. I guess I misread something. I have no clue the fuck tested it. Because unless I'm fucking cosplaying as a fucking sumo wrestler that can fucking run and jump like crazy, it doesn't fucking make sense I'm getting hit from fucking every angle imaginable. And I understand... I understand that... Please, there's a checkpoint here. I understand that it was a console limitation to be able to save... To not be able to save anywhere, wherever the fuck I want to. But, this is a remaster, adding an option to just save whenever the fuck I want, couldn't have been an issue. Yeah, at least as an option, because guess what, 
Tomb Raider Remastered allows me to do that. Because Tomb Raider Remastered, guess what? <clears throat> the console version also had save crystals and you couldn't save anywhere. The PC version you could save anywhere. And in the remaster you get to choose. Do you want to use save crystals or do you want to fucking... Why does it switch to the fucking after Yeah, shit range. Good. Good useless shit weapon. No fucking range. Sure, this also wouldn't have had range, no. Cool weapons, but it doesn't help when half of them don't have fucking range. Yeah, unless, you know, someone wants to experience it, like, on the console, right? I'm sure adding in the option is fine for people who want to experience it the way that you originally did in the console, but... Yeah, an option is never a bad thing. Just, hey, like, in the option, do you want to enable manual saving or not? And that's it. That's all they needed to fucking do. Same probably with the janky ass shit with box. I have no fucking clue how this got past testing. Jesus Christ. Who the fuck tested this game and was like, huh, I feel like... I feel like it's totally balanced that I'm getting hit from a fucking meter away. Ugh. But hey, at least I'm able to progress in this game. Like, this is still better than to rock in terms of actually being able to progress down the line. In the case of Turok, it's just one flaw in its design that fucks up the whole game experience. There is just multiple tedious, annoying shit things, but at least I can still play the game and finish it. Shut up, Ramsey, suck my balls.
Doesn't that like improve my max health or some shit like that? Fly. Polter vlieg. Like how half the my own weapons can kill me. Or to have health. Okay, checkpoint that's good as well. Even better than health to be fair. Pro Contra win Strunky. I was actually thinking of playing Contra recently. Then I went to play Metal Slug. Contra. This poop bird. The fuck? I really get blocked there. Ass birds.
Oh, this room sucks. Fucking turds. Look at that! Guess I'm doing this the boring way. Oh, all of a sudden there's a second one, okay. How to kill the pacing 101, make the player stand still over and over and over. That level. The gods are pleased that you have collected all of the six artifacts, but the pursuit for peace is not over. Seek out my corpse and return it to this tomb. But be warned, the queen of the Kilmot Empire is furious with your doings and will tear your body to pieces unless you are properly armed. Discard the six artifacts. If this is done properly, the door to the pyramid will open, and the most horrifying evil of the Kilmot beings will be revealed. Leave this place immediately and move swiftly, for time is running out, and the fate of the world rests upon your shoulders. Okay, so you finally have all artifacts, and now you fucking need to just put them all away. Yeah. yeah, I forgot. I don't think I have all transmitter pieces. I probably need to collect those as well. What is that for again? or plebs.
Contact HQ. At least the game communicates where the fuck the pieces are. At least now I can fly. I still have to redo fucking shit maps most likely. first. Another thing I need first, actually. Get fucked, game. <clears throat> Probably more, but I don't know where they are. I don't remember seeing any. That one was literally just now, and I knew I probably need that to get it. This is great though. This is great. You can cheese the fuck out of these fucks. Oh! Speed run strats? Yeah, with the transmitter pieces, I actually communicate to the player where the fuck I need to be.
anything there. Fucking shit ass shit garbage switch. Useless if I'm gonna die. Why the fuck can I not jump?
Yeah, I heard the beeping earlier, but I didn't see a route, so maybe I thought I had to take a different route, but... Like, I hear it beeping there, but... No fucking clue where there's an area over there. like a crack in the wall would have helped more. how other like other uh, walls that you could blow up look like out of place wall pieces that had you know a darker shade or looked a bit more crumbled usually the game did that but now it's all of a sudden like oh yeah just where these two pipes are well. Yeah, there was at least one more. I, I really hope you have not bought this game because holy shit it is a disappointment <laughs> I, I just want to get this fucking annoying piece of shit game behind me for starters player hitbox is absolutely gigantic for some reason so there's like a projectile two meters next to you and for some reason it still hits you. It gets infuriating throughout the whole game. The game attempts at doing this sort of Metroidvania style thing where you need to find certain treasures before you can progress. Like basically levels of multiple exits. So for example... example yeah for example this level has two exits you come from north and then you have one to the left one to the right and then you need to get like a piece like an ability and then later you can exit to the other one which is a cool idea but it's executed terribly 
No, the, the remaster itself, no, it's just a bit game itself. <laughs> and this is the console version, by the way. The console and DOS versions are different. I didn't know that until I played this. Um, but this version was like released on console back in the day. So I think it's a cool idea they do the Metroidvania thing. But they execute it terribly because every time you go back to a level you've previously visited, guess what? You gotta do the whole level over again from the start. So you don't get to like continue it. No, you have to collect all keys again, kill all enemies again. And that gets tedious after a while. Especially when the game becomes a bit vague with where the hell you need to go. And it gives you like multiple multiple levels you can go in and you don't know where the dead end is and where the hell the level is that leads to the next uh, ability basically yeah padding for gameplay as well and we had we had freaking uh, hub hub areas before this you know like Hexen did but for some reason this game every time you go back it's like well now you gotta do the whole level again from the start basically which is tedious. It is cool that we travel by camels, though. What else is shit? Some freaking... Uh, you know how in most normal FPS games or just general games, when you get a new weapon or ability, they give you a chance to use it? So, for example, like... The game gives you a rocket launcher, and then they give you, like, literally... The next thing you encounter is like a fight where the rocket launcher is useful, you know, to get you used to the new weapon. Oh yeah, let me get let me I'll get started about that in a moment as well. Um, or if you like, you know, here's a berserk pack. Now go kill a bunch of pinky demons. You know, usually when you get an ability or a weapon. The game instantly throws something at you to use that ability or weapon, right? That's good game design because it instantly gives the player a chance to familiarize themselves with the new ability they unlocked. This, go this game does the complete opposite. They gave me like the ring weapon, which fires like explosive fireballs. And the first thing they throw at me, like literally as I grab it, a fucking wall opens in a tight corridor with these small enemies that jump at me and if i spam that weapon i just got if i use it i just kill myself with splash damage what else is shit the whole health and ammo drop system it doesn't even bother me that's a meter but look Um, ammo pickups are only placed in the map in the form of this blue sphere. And this blue sphere fills up all your ammo, right? So every weapon you have, it fills up max ammo. So I will use ammo on this, I will use ammo on that. And boom! Full weapon power. It refills all your ammo. Problem is... The weapon sphere is rare, you know? It's like a rare item, like for example a soul sphere in Doom. You won't find it everywhere. Some levels are a bit more generous with it, some not. The only other method to acquire ammo is by random drops from enemies. And enemies either drop nothing Small health pickups, big health pickups, small ammo pickups, or big ammo pickups. It's completely random! Completely fucking random. So when you're in the need of ammo, well, you're just down to good luck if the ammo, if the enemies look, drop it. Same with health. Which is stupid. And, like you said, you need to be holding the weapon that you want to grab our ammo for. So, when I'm, for example, this is my main weapon that I use most of the time, right? So, imagine I use this weapon up. 
and then I'm out of ammo, I switch to something more tedious, and I'm in combat trying to, you know, kill enemies, and they drop ammo pickups. Well, guess what? In the middle of combat, I'm like, well, better switch to the empty weapon to grab ammo and then switch back again because you usually don't want to instantly empty because, you know, you'll only get a little bit of ammo, so you don't instantly want to empty the gun you're trying to fill up. So you're basically mid-combat, you're switching to an empty weapon, then switching back just to grab fucking ammo. That's tedious. Secondly, the drops of the ammo take a few seconds so you want to have some nice pacing kill an enemy grab ammo like in doom nope kill an enemy wait like two seconds and only then potentially the ammo drops so every enemy you kill you kind of have to like stand still if you are needed in ammo or health so it kills the pacing there's another way to get ammo actually it is these well, not specifically these, but any kind of destructible uh, vases and other environmental things have a chance to drop health or ammo. But guess what? They also have a chance to be cursed. So let's see. Okay. Nothing. And, and, and let me remind you, you're low on ammo, so you don't want to be using your weapons to break these, right? You want to melee them. So this one dropped ammo, good. Okay, I'm either very lucky or this is just on this level thing, but very often... I'll just actually go into an actual level, I'm not sure if it's there. I'll show you what it happens if it's cursed. Um, I mean, I'm sure there's gonna be things there. The gods are plebs. Alright, so let's see I say again here. Destructible things. I'm low on ammo. Oh, that one was cursed! Well, fuck me! There goes, like, an entire health bar almost. So what's the point of destroying these? Because you're low on ammo, but you're not gonna waste ammo shooting them. Because if you shoot them, you actually have a chance to avoid the curse. Sometimes there's enemies inside them too. But there's basically, it's not worth it to destroy them because you risk killing yourself or spawning more enemies when you're in need of ammo. One saving grace though. Early on, there's a boss in this arena. And like I said, the levels reset every time you finish, except the boss fight. But basically, in between every level is what I do, is go to this level. And basically, run through it. With this. And then grab that full health and full, arm, uh, full ammo. So that I'm fully stocked in between every level. Because holy crap, if you don't do that... You're gonna run out of ammo and health. The gods are pleased that you have collected all of the six artifacts, but the pursuit for peace is not over. Seek out my corpse and return it to this tomb. But be warned, the queen of the Kilmot Empire is furious with your doings and will tear your body to pieces yeah. unless you are proper. I, I was on the verge of alt f on just uninstalling the game when i was having ammo issues until i read someone on the forums on steam said basically you can abuse this level to get a refill on health and ammo every time so that's what i do but it's stupid that you have to rely on something like that if that's the case then they might as well just give you full ammo and health at the start of every level And uh, now, before we continue here, this is our next progress point. Oh, there's a beep there, but we are looking for more beeps. There's one here as well. The beeps are the radio pieces we need to collect. So these are levels I've already done. But now that I have all abilities, I can collect. 
all the radio pieces. Oh yeah, and another thing. You kill enemies that are above pain sectors. Well, enjoy having to grab the pickups above pain, above like damaging floors. Or even worse, sometimes there's like very deep lava pits and you have floating enemies, like the floating bugs and birds. You shoot them. They drop ammo and health. Well, they just drop down into the abyss. So it's like so many tedious little things that really make me not enjoy this game. The rest is good. The good guns are cool, the enemies are cool. I love the movement abilities. Like right now we have the maximum one, so we can literally float endlessly in the air as long as I hold space. It's funny, but you get this like pretty much near the end, so. You can go here. Down keyboard. But I also just think it's so incredibly stupid that you have to basically redo the whole level, collect all the keys again. I'd be fine if it's like redoing the whole level, but it's like the collecting key parts that's really getting to me. It's like, oh, why not just give me all the parts? Hey, Slayer, welcome. Uh, could be better. I mean, I'm playing this. I also need to find an exit now because... I don't think there's no camel in the back where I came from. Thank you for contributing to Metal Gear Rising, both Slayer and Rector. for contributing to God of War 2 and Medal of Honor. I do love how this fucking porous feather breaks the whole game. with fire. Fishing. Oish. Oh no. Okay, where the hell do I go now? I'm just trying to find an exit. Doesn't matter which one as long as it's just an exit somewhere. Oh yeah, that's also abusable. Blow yourself up to float higher. Speed run strap. <laughs> yeah. Like it is really cool the abilities in the trap. All the movement stuff. I love. Where's the camel?
have anything else that isn't like exploding. We just only need a pistol. No oh, wait, I have snake. But no wait, that explodes as well. Why so many explosive weapons? Oh, no, the fucking exit was right there. Fuck. And I didn't grab a single. F no, f dude. How was there not a single checkpoint? And why does this game give me only explosive weapons? This piece of shit is explosive. This piece of shit is explosive. This piece of shit is explosive. Very weird that the explosions don't hurt me, considering when I first got it, I definitely got killed by it. 100% I killed myself with the explosions when I first got it. No clue what changed. I remember using it in the room. It was just these jumping enemies. I would use it on them and I would explode myself. So very weird. Was it the lava monster? Okay. Or something really. Oh, then that makes this weapon a bit less shitty. If I had known that, I could have used it. Fucking low on health though, so that's great. Oh yeah, first I have to grab this before I forget. Why can't I just exit? I hate that as well. So again, padding like crazy. Like, oh, you have to go back now to this level to grab the radio piece and then finish it again. And this is a level where you don't have a camel at the beginning. Whereas in some other levels you do here for some... Oh no, there's a camel. God fucking damn, I didn't see it. He was camouflaged, okay? He's okay, that saves me a lot of time. I literally did not see that camel. I'm blind. So now we do another trip in the arena to regain our health and... Oh. Camel flash. Yes. I mean, this game is in Egypt, so... It all makes perfect sense. The gods are... The gods are dead. And then every time you have to talk to Ramses as well. Alright, where's the next beeping? Alright, so basically here, but we need to continue. These guys are like revenants, but worse. But they're not as bad as uh what was it the 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 Pledge and Quake Spawn or something? Or was that the blue ones? Come with the homing projectiles. No, Vor was it. Spawn were the blue fox, the Vor were the homing projectile fox.
Oh, I hear beep. Oh. How dare I? Oh yeah, this game also doesn't have a, have a typical save system, it has a checkpoint system. There's another weapon. Oh shit. Oh. Basically Zeus powers. That's a cool weapon, I like that. Charge is a little bit slow, but... Oh, where do I go? I mean, it's still a guessing game on where to go. Oh, oh that's closed. And I got fucked by the birds. Even with this ability, I think this level is complete dog shit. Cause I'm like guessing where the fuck I'm supposed to go. That's closed. That's closed. Where the fuck do I go? Where's the fuck? Where's a key? Just a key. I don't give a fuck which one. Just give me a key. Oh, what a good weapon! 
Takes a million fucking shots to kill one small group of enemies. Fuck this level, man! I can literally not find a single fucking key. I actually have to look up a fucking shitty ass video for this fucking shit level. Let me first grab this because I'm getting sick and tired of grabbing this fucking piece of shit every fucking time. God fucking... Canyons of Chaos.
Oh, it looks like the walkthrough I'm watching is also going in there. Oh, wait, you can go to the right there. Oh. Okay, there's the piece. Still no idea where the fuck the progress is. Finally, I know where to go. Fuck. You have to blow that up with mandatory secrets and shit like that. How am I supposed to get up there? Jump!
That works well at least. How the fuck do you live? Fuck, I hate these enemies. You're still fucking alive? I hate the sound so much, I'm gonna get fucking PTSD from these fucking shit enemies. Still projectiles come in my fucking way.
Still more. How the fuck do I get higher then without fucking damaging myself? I'm fucked now. There's another one. Unfucking believable. It's like no end. How about a checkpoint, huh? Fuck. I don't need the weapon boost. I need fucking health and ammo.
Anything with range? All right, so am I soft locked now? for something else, but you know. Great! Where the fuck do I go then? How are you alive? Do I go? Can I jump up here? Okay. Fucking shit level. Where's the next shit door? I forgot where the next fucking shit Oh, was it here? No, that's where I got the key. Where the fuck's the next one? That one I got, right?
I don't even remember where that was because that happened too many times. Wait, wasn't there a... Gotta be connected to that, right? Not here, right? Or is it in there? Might be here. No, I've already been here. Why are there still birds here? I got a checkpoint so it's not in here it's not this it's not that Where the fuck is it? Where the fuck's the last door? A <laughs> fuck? <laughs> There's another Okay. So 100% certain it's not this one. Because that's the one I just got where the checkpoint is. And you're saying there's another one. Let's fucking find it. Find it. The door up top. Okay, got it. For the door up top. This this level is such a fucking confusing maze. Door up top. This is the door up top. No. There's the door. Got it. Fuck. And the idea behind the puzzle here is actually very cool, but it drags on for way too long. Such a fucking tedium. Being a fucking headache. And then all of that progress! And I get one shotted by this fucking asshole with the fucking homing projectile. Fuck! Of course, I don't have ammo for that. I only have a decent bit of ammo for this. I, I gotta maneuver my way all of this through all of this fucking crap. Is there not a fucking checkpoint here? I don't know. 
Same play. Yeah, there's more of these fucks. Fuck that level. No way I'm playing more of this today. Ugh. God damn, what a chore. Almost got a fucking headache dealing with this fucking shit. Ugh. Ugh. And it's such a shame because the idea was cool, but holy fuck. The gods are <sighs> fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, I gotta make some food. Can't deal with this shit.